it's never too late to spread the love. For those of you that like hearts and beads, here is a perfect tutorial just for you. This episode of Turbo Beads, we're making peyote stitch bead hearts. So feel free to subscribe and I hope you all enjoy this video. Here's the list of everything you need to make the peyote stitch heart. Let's start out with the pattern. What you will do is you'll take the beads and you're going to lay out the center of the pattern in a sequence of 2 1 2 1 2. This will be the main part of the heart. So as you can see, I've left a grid on screen to make it easier for you to follow. So let's get those beads lined up just as the image shows. Once you have the center of the pattern lined up, or the spine as some call it, this is what it should look like. So as you can see, the beads are lined up in this sequence. We will build around this once we add them to the string. Let's go ahead and grab our string with the two ends matched up and prepare to add the beads to the string. But before we can add any beads to the string, what we need to do first is decide on which end of the string will be for the bottom row and which end of the string will be for the top row. When taking beads from the arranged pile, be sure to pull from the left side to the right side. Now that we've determined the bottom string from the top string, add your beads to the string. I'm taking the first bead furthest to the left on the bottom and adding it to the string designated to the bottom. Now, let's take the next bead. That'll be the bead on the top furthest to the left and add it to the string designated to the top. For the next bead, which is aligned in the middle, we will add that bead to both ends of the strings. That's the bottom string and the top. When you get the beads on the string, just let them fall to the bottom. Continue repeating these steps when adding on additional beads to the strings. Taking beads from left to right, adding the beads from the bottom to the designated bottom string, taking and adding the beads at the top to the designated top string, and just like before, taking and adding the beads aligned in the middle to both strings. So let's just continue adding all the beads to the string. I'm also going to let this step play out so that you can understand it visually and won't feel like you've missed a step. Remember, that's the beads at the bottom on the designated bottom string, the beads on the top to the designated top string, and the beads in the middle on both strings. Once you have all the beads on the string, this is what it should look like. Be sure to push the beads together, making them tight and uniform. Now you will take the two ends of string and tie them together, keeping all of the beads locked in place. Be sure you're not as tight and secure before moving on to the next step. Now that the string is all tied together, this is what it should look like. From this point, let's take one end of the string and run it back through the closest bead on the top. Once you get the string through that bead, go ahead and pull it all the way through. Now we are ready to add more beads to the pattern. Each bead will fill in an open slot, a perfect fit. To add on the beads, take the string and add one bead to that string. 
using that same end of string, run it through the next bead on that row. That's this pink bead. Pull the string all the way through and the bead will lock in place. Now that the string is coming out of this bead, when we add a bead, we'll go through the next bead on that row. Go ahead and add on the next bead on the string. Taking that same end of string, run it through the next bead on that row, pulling the string until the bead locks in place, filling that empty slot. So just like before, I've added an image of the pattern for you to follow. So just keep repeating the same steps, adding a bead and running the string through the next bead on that row. Once you get the string to the last bead on that row, you're going to take that same end of string and run it through the bead that was just added, stepping up onto the next row. Be sure to pull your string all the way through. At this point, we're going in the other direction. Add another bead to the string, running the string through the next bead on that row. Pull the string until the bead locks in place. Now that the string is going through this bead, we're going to run the string through the next bead over, the one on the lower row, and then through the one above. Go ahead and guide your string through. Be sure to pull your string all the way through. Now, with the string coming out of this bead, we can now step up to the next bead. Guide the string to this bead as well. Be sure to pull the string all the way through. We are now ready to add the last bead on the upper half of the heart. Add your bead to the string. With the string coming out of this bead, we're going to take that string and run it through the next bead on that row pulling the string all the way through until the bead locks in place. With the string coming out of this bead, we're going to also run it through the bead on the end. Once you get your string through the bead and pull it all the way through, we'll be back to where we started. With the top half of the heart completed, now it's on to making the bottom half of the heart. From this point, you're going to take the other end of string and you're going to run it back through the closest bead on the bottom half. Be sure to pull the string all the way through that bead. Once again, using the same steps as before, add a bead to the string, running that string through the next bead on that row, pulling the string until the bead locks in place. So keep repeating these steps and continue to add beads to fill in the open spots. Remember, you can always use the pattern image as a guide to keep track of your progress. So as you can see, this peyote stitch heart has a similar technique to sewing or weaving. For the color scheme, I've chosen the color pink and black as a border color. Of course, as always, you can always choose the colors your heart desires. So what colors will you choose? It's entirely up to you. So feel free to share in the comments below. Once you have the string through the bead on the end, run that string back through the bead that was just added. Now you will be guiding the string in the opposite direction. Once again, it's back to adding beads to the string, running it through the next bead on that row, filling in the open spots. 
Remembering to pull the string all the way until the bead locks in place. Now that you have the string coming through the speed on the end, just like before, run the string through the bead that was just added, once again changing the direction of the string. And of course, remembering to pull the string all the way through. Once again, back to adding beads to the string and running the string through the next bead on that row and pulling the string all the way through until the bead locks in place. Adding another bead to that string, running that string through the next bead on that row coming out of the end. With the string coming out of the bead on the end, run that string back through the bead that was just added. making sure to pull the string all the way through, making it tight. Now for the last bead, add that bead on the string, taking that same end of string, running it through the next bead on that row, pulling the string all the way through until the bead locks in place. With the string going through this bead, we're gonna take our string and run it through these three beads coming out the end, back to where we started the pattern. Once you have your string through the beads and back to the starting point, you're going to tie off both ends of strings with basic knots to keep those beads locked in place. Cut off the tied loose ends of string and your peyote heart is complete. And there you have it, another bead pattern I hope you love and enjoy creating. I'll leave a link of the pattern for you to use in the description below. Anything you want to add, comments or suggestions, don't be afraid to leave a comment below. And if you're new or you just haven't already, don't forget you can also subscribe if you want to be notified for more bead tutorials like this one. So live, love, and thanks for watching.